Well, we're with Teddy Bluger, who has had his first few games with the Golden Knights, first points, first goals, and now you have your first credit one, one-on-one. -on -one. Thanks for joining us, Teddy. Yeah, for sure. Glad to be doing this. Any idea? It's March 20th. Do you know what today is? March 20th. Uh, no. It's the first day of spring. Okay. Well, it feels like spring here since the day I got here compared to Pittsburgh, so I guess, uh, yeah, but it's official now, so nice. How much different is it than what it's like this time of year in Pittsburgh? Uh, quite a bit. I mean, uh, I mean, there's been some, uh, I guess, kind of gloomy days, but it's still way warmer. Um, Pittsburgh's a lot of rain uh, compared to here as well, so not a lot of sunshine this time of year yet. What is the ideal weather for you? Probably sunny. I feel like the last couple of years in Pittsburgh, like the winter, fall, even like March has been like rainy and kind of gloomy. So um, ideal weather. I mean, sunny, probably like six, 70 to 80s, maybe. So if it's a sunny 75 degree day and you're not at the rink, what can we find you doing? Um, well, that's a good question. I mean, in the summers, probably water sports is kind of my favorite thing to do. Um, wakeboarding, uh, skiing, stuff like that. I mean, I, this actually came up in Pittsburgh, and I said this, but I also said we don't have a boat, so it's like we can't go whenever we want. we got to go with friends or family or whoever has a boat, so we're kind of like relying on other people, but that's probably my favorite thing to do in the summer. If you're wakeboarding or wake skiing, are you, like, doing any tricks out there? Or are you keeping it standard? Uh, no, I mean, not really. Uh can't do much yet. I think I still got a little bit to, to work on uh, my skills, but I think eventually I'd like to get to a point where I'm spinning around and doing all that stuff, but I need some more practice. How are you on the golf course? Uh, pretty below average. Below average? Below average, yeah. Not great. I need, I, need, uh, I need to get some more rounds in to get my game up to, um, to improve my game, really. I'm not great. Well, Vegas is the perfect place to do that pretty much year-round, can tell you that much. Yeah. Uh, you talked about the difference in the weather. Other than that, what has surprised you most about being here? Um, I think just kind of, it seems like the people really love the, the team and, you know, um, whether they're just walking around here, you see a lot of people wearing like team stuff or, uh, things like that. So there seems to be a, like a really big interest in the team, which I guess I wasn't sure how that was going to be. Um, and, uh, yeah, I mean, the Summerlin area is really nice. You know, you got, uh, plenty to do around here. You don't really need to go to the strip, um, uh, unless you want to. Um, but yeah, I guess I'm just surprised, you know, how nice this area is around here, how much there is to do, um, and just the side of Vegas that's, uh, you know, that there's so much to, to besides just the Strip. You talk about not having to go to the Strip, but there are a lot of artists and shows that come and go, residencies. If you could see any artist while in Las Vegas, whether they're here right now or not, who would you choose? Oh, that's a great question. Um, I mean, it's tough on the spot. I think, like... Right off the bat, I think when I got here, I think Cirque du Soleil come, kind of comes to mind, like at any of those shows as far as, like, um, musicians. Um, I don't know. I mean, I'm, my wife loves, loves Bruno Mars, so she's brought that up a couple times. Like, he, I know, I think he's coming here in a couple months or something. Um, I think uh, Sebastian Maniscalco would be a fun one to go to. We just missed that. Um, when he was here, but hopefully, you know, we'll still be around when he comes back. Um, yeah, so those, I guess, what other artists? Um, yeah, I, I would love to actually see uh, Red Hot Chili Peppers. Good, I don't know. Choice. Yeah. Um, I think they were at Allegiant Stadium recently, but they'll come back, I'm sure. Okay, yeah, hopefully they'll come back. I don't, yeah, I don't know if they were here, if they're going to be here. I know, I think last summer maybe they were touring or something like that, but we didn't get to go, so... Um, I'd love to catch them before they're done. So Red Hot Chili Peppers, come back to Vegas so Teddy can check you out. Um, you talked before about one of the biggest things you actually had to adjust to was kind of like the pregame routine and the warm-ups and not being in people's way. What does your pregame routine look like? Um, I mean, normal game day, it's pretty standard. I think uh, like morning skate, pregame meal, um, go back to the room, probably read a little nap back to the game I think it's just like more like the little details you know it's like obviously I'm always eating the same thing um, you know uh, the order in which you get dressed in and I think like now it kind of find, finding a spot and like the whole warm-up and stuff and like the order which you come out in all those little things are starting to kind of come into place what are you reading right now 
Uh, right now I'm reading uh, it's a book called Believe Us. It's just about, uh, it's about Liverpool, like the um, Liverpool Football Club and, and Jurgen Klopp and kind of how he changed the culture when he went in there and how it all changed uh, after he got there. You're about to head on a flight. Do you, do you read on these flights? What do you do? Yeah, uh, read. Uh, I play football manager. I don't know if you talked to Carly about that. He plays that game. Um, we don't know about it, so can you no. tell us? I'm going to interrupt okay. you right there. Okay, I, I know all, all the guys. Uh, all the guys were telling me that he plays it a lot, and he's he's pretty intense about it. So it's basically just like a soccer like simulation game where you're you're the manager of a team, and you know you're in charge of like you don't actually play the games; they get simulated. But you know you sign the players and um, set the practices and budgets and you know, scout players and all this kind of stuff, like set the tactics. So it's actually pretty detailed and it's it's pretty popular. I think at least in Europe, it's really popular. Um, so yeah, so play that or maybe watch a movie or show once in a while. But Who is your seatmate? Uh, right now, it's been by myself. It's been by yourself? Yeah. We're going to we're gonna have to change that. But you'll be reading, you'll be playing that game. And thanks for catching up with us. Hope it's a good road trip for you. Yeah, for sure. Thank you. <laughs>